for the uh, external anatomy of a fish. So firstly, a fish can be divided into three parts, which is the head, the trunk, and also the tail. So firstly, the head, uh, it is the region from the anterior mousse of the snout until the operculum, which is uh, this. Okay. So a head consists of a snout or a mouth. So tilapia fish has a, a terminal type of mouth and we can see uh, inside the mouth we can see the tooth patch over here which is uh, for feeding actually and the second one uh, tilapia fish also have nostril a little a small hole near the mouth okay this uh, this nostril is function as to detect orders in water and the third one is eye okay and the fourth one is the operculum as you can see the operculum here as uh, it, it, it is a bony type so this is also operculum and uh, it is a flexible bony plate to protect the gills you can see underside it there was a gill inside this okay uh, and there are several bones that makes up the operculum. Okay, the, 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 we proceed with the trunk or the body. Okay, the, for the body, you can see there are several fins here. So the first fin we can see over here is pectoral fin. The bottom one here is pelvic fin. This is anal fin, caudal fin and also dorsal fin. You can see the fin is actually a spinous fin and uh, uh, and also if you can see the skin of the fish actually quite slimy and mucus because uh, it is due to the mucus production by, from the epidermis and you could also see the scale uh, okay this is the scale of the fish um, the lateral line you could see here the lateral line for it is uh, actually a sensory organ and the vent over here you could see that the small hole over here this is the vent this is actually external opening of digestive urinary and also reproductive tract so it is um, uh, used together by the tree system okay we proceed with the last body part which is the tail which is consists of the uh, the caudal fin and also the caudal peduncle so the type of the caudal fin is homoarsosal which is um, tunicate type because it is quite uh, elongated over here let us proceed with the internal anatomy of the fish Okay, next we are going to proceed with the uh, internal anatomy of the fish. The first step is to identify the vein. Okay, this, you could see the two small vents. This is how it looks like after the dissection uh, of the fish. Um, happen. So this is how um, the uh, after we cut open the um, abdomen. So we're going to uh, pin it first so that it won't move. Okay. So we're going to continue with uh, identific identification of the internal anatomy. So firstly, uh, this one here, the exposed one here, is the uh, swim leather and you could see the darker red color here is okay over here is is kidney this is a kidney okay uh, the yellowish uh, spotted uh, color is ovary ovary that full with eggs and uh, you could see the stomach and, and the liver it located uh, beside each other, it is a longer brownish color. The whitish color 
you could see at, uh, at the bottom of the stomach is actually the intestine and then you could see the greenish color center there that is gallbladder and uh, underneath it is the spleen you also cut open the operculum of the fish to show the uh, the gill and beneath it then you could see there is gill racker gill arc and also gill filament the heart of the fish is located at the uh, bottom okay the last one uh, the last organ we're going to uh, identify is the nervous system so we could uh, we cut open the head so it was right here we cut open it and you could see this tiny uh, roundy shape uh, it is actually its brain. It is located inside this um, like kind of uh, round cavity over here.